Hi, my name is Michael Pierce. I'm the art director here at SciCrafting, and today uh, we wanted to mix it up a little on the blog. And uh, normally, you know, we give you coding tips from developers by developers, um, but today I wanted to show you a little bit something that we've been doing on the design end, um, thanks to CS5's new and improved Refine Edge tool. Um, it's been making our lives a lot easier, and I just wanted to share that with you guys out there today because uh, I'm sure a few of you will find this pretty useful if you haven't learned it yet. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take this photo of this woman with the sunflower and uh, we're going to mask her out and uh, we're going to then add that, that uh, layer over onto this photo of the wheat bread. Normally when you used to make a selection it's, it's uh, pretty hard with the older versions of CS to uh, quickly mask out hair and uh, so that's what I wanted to show, show you today using the refine edge tool. So first if you, you gotta have Photoshop open so get that open open up your two files that you want to merge make the first selection and what we're going to do to do that today is we're going to use the quick selection tool select that and then just really quickly just like it's called quickly select what you need to select then hit the refine edge button up in the top and this is the this is where the power comes in of the new and improved tool so this is the refine edge dialog box and from within here um, you get a several view modes that help you sort of determine how well the selection's going and how the refinements are working, as well as uh, various adjust edge um, settings. And um, uh, there's even an output setting for decontaminating colors. So um, the first view that we're in right now, actually, it's on the, uh, it's actually the third view. It's on black. And this one is really great when you have it sort of on a light background or white background. And you need to see where it's just not quite working and in this case you can see the background is really coming through on the hair so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that so we're gonna refine the edge so first go to the refine radius tool which is here over on the left click that and uh, just really quickly just paint through those white hair areas just like that and let go and you can see it's already detecting that that was the background back there and it's sort of removed that a little bit right here so let's click again and there we go so sometimes um, when you make that quick selection it might not see all of the hair so what we do is we go to the radius um, edge detection area right here crank that up and you can kind of start to see hair coming back in which is great because that's really what you want um, in the view area if you do black and white that's going to show you the beautiful mask that it's creating um, there's a lot of definition in there you can see and uh, those of you that are familiar with creating masks uh, can definitely um, definitely tell that this is a difficult mask to make and that this is really nice at how fast this is this is doing it uh, we're gonna go back to the on black area and uh, we have a few things dropping off here like the shoulder it's starting to um, starting to ghost a little bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the left here into the erase refinement tool just go in there really quickly, erase, erase, erase over here. And really what this is doing is just making it a little bit stronger over there um, because that is not an area that is hair, so we need that to be nice and strong. So it's same over here, gonna tighten that up. Um, another nice thing sometimes you might need to use um, are these adjust edge settings. So sometimes you might need to smooth it out a little bit. In that case, we don't really need that. Um, you also want to make sure that you check the smart radius box up here if you do have things like hair. What that does is, is it goes into your radius, and that, that's what this is, and it adds sort of a, a larger area around the hair, and then down over by like a shoulder or something where it has a really definitive edge, um, it makes that mask a little bit tighter. So sometimes it's nice to be in the show radius area so that you can go in there and really easily just see what you need to clean up. So you can go in here if you want and just make sure that's nice and crisp. And then uh, once you're done, you just uncheck that and you can see how that's doing. Uh, in this case, we're gonna bring this in just a little bit and we're gonna just bring down the smoothness a little. And sometimes you might wanna shift the edge, shift it in a little bit and you can see it starts cutting away a little bit of that white, making it a little bit better. And then, but then you see over in the shoulder, it's still it's kind of digging into the shoulder a little bit. So just go right over in here, erase, just cut that out, 
See how that crisps it up right there. And then uh, once you're all done, you, you might actually want to do the contaminate colors. And what that does is, let's say uh, your image does have a little bit of green behind it or the background color coming through. In this case, it is green because there was sort of a green background. What decam decaminate, decontaminate colors does is you select that and it just rips out a little bit of that color, um, making it a little bit easier when you're trying to put it on a different color background. Click OK. And then um, just go ahead and take that layer, move it over here. And there you have it. That's a great little trick on how to use the Refine Edge tool. Hope you find it helpful. Um, as always, if you do need to make additional um, changes to the mask, just click on the mask. And uh, what that will do is you can go in there and uh, you can clean it up as you need to. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you found that little tip helpful and uh, good luck out there. And if you have any comments, feel free to add them below in the comment box and I'll be, I'd be happy to respond. Thanks.